guys welcome back to my channel this is Anastasia welcome everybody I am extremely excited for this week because we are starting our new theme new year's balloon garlands you guys you gave me so many great color combinations I don't know where to start I will try to fit in as many balloon garlands on new year's theme as I can so stay tuned Today, I am using dark blue and gold stars. Not your typical stars, but four point stars, and they are kind of like elongated stars. Very excited because I've never worked with them before, never tried them ever before, never seen them before except on pictures, so it will be fun. I'm not gonna promise you one design and then I'm gonna come up with a totally different thing which happened before we'll see what I'm gonna come up with and I hope this will inspire you everything I will be using in this video you guys every single thing every balloon count every balloon size everything will be linked and listed in the description under the video so go ahead and check it out and without any further ado let's go make this happen Let's quickly go over all of the balloons that I have here. As I said, I am working with dark blue. This is navy blue in 10 and 12 inches. Then I have two sizes gold stars, foiled balloons. These are 36 inch stars and these are uh, 18 inch stars. These are not your typical stars. They are four point stars. Excited to try them out. And on top of this, I am using low temperature glue gun, 20 pound fishing line, balloon tying tool, and electric balloon pump. Alrighty guys, I am ready to blow my balloons up. I am working with my fishing line, so that means I am pairing balloons. I am using electric balloon pump from Lauradale Paper and Balloon Company. I love this thing. I will link this pump in the description under the video. You can also use my code Anastasia10 for 10% off at checkout if you decide to purchase anything from Lauradale Paper and Balloon Company. All right, so what I'm doing is I am taking two balloons. I'm blowing two balloons at the same time. When I'm done filling them with air, I am pressing my balloons down to give my balloons more rounder shape and then I am tying them into pairs like these. I'm going to blow 10 inch with 10 inch and 12 inch with 12 inch or mix them up however it's going to go, I don't know. latex balloons already now let's blow our foil balloons here's the thing you guys you can't use warm balloon pump on your self-sealing orbs balloons foil balloons because all self-sealing orbs balloons foil balloons they have wow these are big they have a plastic insert in them if warm hot air will hit that insert it can melt the insert and you will basically ruin balloon and your balloon will start deflating so that's why i am losing losing i am using hand pump to blow my stars it's gonna take um, some time but it will be much safer than using warm electric balloon pump you can use um cool electric balloon pump but it will heat up once you're going to be blowing one two three four balloons you know so keep an eye on your electric balloon pump time to construct our balloon garland as i told you i am using 20 pound fishing line in 
this garland, I want to mix all of my sizes up into my base. So I'm taking my first pair. This is a 12 inch pair and I'm tying my fishing line to my first pair. I am taking my second pair, putting it right on top of my first pair and I'm pinching these two pairs together with my two fingers like that. I am taking my fishing line and wrapping around one of the newly placed balloon. Pull on your fishing line and push or pinch your pairs together. Now again around different newly placed balloon. Pull on your fishing line and push your balloons, pinch your balloons together. Be careful how hard you pull on your fishing line because fishing line can't cut your balloons. If you ever cut your balloon with the fishing line or any other material that you're using to build your base, you can turn and twist your balloon like a light bulb until you're going to close that hole that you created with a fishing line or whatever and your balloon will be saved. That's all you need to do to build your balloon base. Keep building, keep working until you reach desired length. Secure your balloon garland, cut a long piece of a fishing line, hold it with one hand with your other hand, take that tail and wrap around one of the balloons. Now you created this loop over here. So feed this tail through the loop and pull on your tail. Do it a couple or a few times to make sure your balloons are not going anywhere and your balloon garland is completely secured. Base is done. Everything looks great. Exactly what I was thinking. And now I want to change this shape of my balloon garland because I don't like this um, straightforward balloon column. So I'm playing around with my balloons. garland base is on my backdrop how I hung this garland I will link a video of commonly asked questions about balloon garlands in the description under the video and there in that video I do show an up close on how I hang all of my garlands using backdrops and how I hang all of my garlands using command hooks so go check that video out you guys I thought I would be okay looking at my fabric but it's way too wrinkly for me. So I'm pulling out my hand steamer by Conair, I guess, I don't know. And I'm gonna try to steam uh, this fabric because as I said, it's too wrinkly and I can't handle it. I don't think it's fabric that is wrinkled. I feel like that's the sequin because I feel like the steam makes it even worse. I don't know. I'm not gonna touch this. Uh-uh. Okay. I feel like it's making it worse. What I want to do with my loose balloons, like usual, I am taking two pairs of balloons and I am interwining them together to create clusters of four like these. easy just take your low temperature glue gun or glue dots whatever you want to do and start filling in your balloon garland I don't know why I started with the bigger star first I guess I wanted to find a perfect spot for it 
and I attach this star with my low temperature glue gun as well. So let's go. want to build one more uh, not big not too big of a garland but before I'll do that I want to unwind these clusters that I made to create a balloon garland Here is what I have for you guys today. This is my first New Year's balloon garland. I like what I see. It's definitely very unusual from what I usually do. I really like these four point stars. They do add so much to this garland, so much uniqueness to this whole setup this fabric over here you guys i bought this fabric this is not actually a this is a fabric but this is a tablecloth two tablecloths right here i bought them on amazon i will link them in the description under the video let's go back to these balloons 12 inch balloons you guys mm, a lot of them had holes so i lost about like eight balloons in 12 inch and 10 balloon 10 inch balloons i didn't lost any of them so great quality of 10 inch balloons and 12 inch yeah i wish it would be less holes but the quality of the balloons like the softness of them is very very nice it was easy to work with them uh, these foiled balloons none of them deflated yet so they're holding up the air very very good i as you know, I used low temperature glue gun to construct this whole thing. Everything will be linked and listed in the description under the video. I thought to stop whatever, uh, whatever I have here because I wanted to add a few more things, but then I decided not to because I feel like if I'm going to add anything else, it will be too much. Simple unique very beautiful and that's it all right you guys i hope you enjoyed this video i will share a few pictures or a couple pictures at the end of this video this is it you guys this is my first official first official new year's balloon garland i hope this video was helpful and it was enjoyable to watch leave me your thoughts in the comment section below if you have any other additional questions please leave them in the comment section below as well i will be there i will try to help you out to the best of my abilities if you liked this video if it was enjoyable then don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it with family and friends and that's always helpful if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for more videos and i hope you'll have a wonderful wonderful day and i will see you back very soon bye